and not at all the meaning. Mm -hmm. Because I am feeling it's like we've not at all angry. Yeah, we've got the right wavelength. Yeah. Nice. All right, so now we have Hydra, who is a very different Mario than Kimi Mars. Yeah, this will be a really great one to watch. Hydra is actually also ranked this year on the 64, uh, on the top 64 ranking. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, where these two stack up, but um, I mean, I'm really excited to see how this match goes. And so it does look like Hydra's been playing it fairly conservative. Yeah, I like that he's been going high, not allowing Orpi to be above him. Against Kirby, that can be an important element of the gameplay. Absolutely, yeah. You want when you are able to cut off Kirby's approaching options. Like even now, when Kirby's above, he gave him more distance, but Horby closed uh, the distance really well. A good slide off. Yeah, Horby definitely plays it slow and methodical, which is good. Yeah, so this may end up being a test of Hydra's patience. I'd say so. But if Hydra is used to playing Kimi Mar, his patience is probably pretty well developed. It's probably stacked. Yeah, similar percents, but this edge guard is. Oh. Crazy nice eye. eye. Oh, oh, missed the turnaround grab. Wow, that was. Yeah, that was really smart from Harvey as well. Good DI all around. <laughs> yeah, no, really. See Hydra continuing to try to deny Horby the, the aerial superiority. Yeah, I'm really liking the way... Oh, it's hard to turn on. It's really been um, seeing whose aerials are able to extend into the other space. Yeah, um, see, Hi Z yeah Hydra just went in right there. And 120% on top platform. Yeah, that's, it's it. risky. Uh, when you're at that percent, you might want to avoid the top plat. But um, really good for Horby to follow up. I, I do remember from the few times I encountered Hydra and Kimimaru in bracket that Hydra tends to be more aggressive than Kimimaru. And that's going to hurt in this matchup, unfortunately. It's the patient play that really pays off in dividends. Wow. Yeah, Horby, like Slight, I said, yeah. demonstrating very good awareness of his opponent. Yeah, for sure. Great percent. Hydra did overextend a bit with that down air, but, um, you know, Horby's just got a great read. First back air will put Hydra on the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one stock though uh, can prove to be very frustrating for Mario or many players. Like that's that's Kirby, well, that's what Kirby does. Like fighting fighting Kirby is fighting against the grinder in many senses. For sure, but there are some characters that could just close that stocks a little bit easier or neutral isn't as affected when you're behind. Um, with Mario, you really have to pick your openings. That is true. When, when you have when you have to approach against Kirby, exactly. That, that's when uh, it's that's just, when things are. <laughs> it's hard to be again conservative and also behind. It's very tough. Well, he's got about five minutes with which to do it. Yeah, but like you said, if he's the more aggressive one, I doubt he'll use you know yeah, too much of the time. It seems doubtful that we'll actually get to that point. Yeah, exactly. It's the first stock is always. You know, like that's the start of the second stock is where the test really starts to, you know, come together. When they've made some adaptations, are you going to be uh, really frustrated or are you going to be like, you know what, it's fine. I got all the time in the world. You want me to come in, but I won't. Oh. More great DI by Hydra. He's DI yeah, really. goes down airs, like Off down and away. Mm -hmm. And it just makes it so much harder for Horby to uh, follow up. And that's the difference we see as well. Um, Horby still uh, needs to react. Whereas um, Fukuro just has a bit more of a read on uh, where they're going to DI. Oh, great answer. There we go. Smash. Catching uh, Horby's attempted landing. Yeah, that that is the sort of up smash that is typically a good sign for Mario Mains. Mm -hmm. But he's probably going to need another two or three of those if he wants to, ta uh, to take this game home. Well, I just playing definitely patient, though. Oh, yeah. He's he's not he's not being reckless. No, I, I mean, he got caught with that there. And this... Oh! This could... Okay. okay. Not quite. Didn't time the invincibility. But, like, I'm two or three show. Mario downers off stage, and that could spell the end for... Yeah, Kirby. absolutely. It was one more, and then uh, just taking care of the up B, and that would have been a stop. Okay. It looks like maybe he's going for the ledge cancel. Yeah, I think so. Oh, he gets the one hit. Oh no! <laughs> and I'm. That I, was very good. I think that was actually intentional to go all the way down. Or at least to start the up B. I, I don't think he meant to fall all the way down originally, but he definitely timed his up B. It wasn't a desperation up B. He knew where the hitbox was going to just come out while he could still sweet spot. 
I, I do agree with that. Mm -hmm. But I'm that doesn't answer my question about what Hydra was doing with that down B. That's fair. My yeah. guess is that he hit B instead of A. Yeah, you going for um, a down tilt down smash? Yes. Yeah. That that is what I would suppose because that unless he was going for super swag, which yeah, which I sort of doubt. Not in D one. Not in D one. Not from this player. Not against a Kirby. So unless he was going for super swag and he was trying to get a butt spike, I I doubt that that tornado yeah. was intentional. Well, that was a great game one. Yeah, so game two, immediately we see Hydra sticking to that game plan of trying to deny Horvy the air. Oh, but then Horvy sneaks in the ground. Yeah, but it, it doesn't look like Horvy is used to fighting floaties because he's uh, he's not managing any follow-ups off of uh, off of the clown foot. Off of that tilt. Oh, I see. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> he's got big clown shoes to fill. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there's... I'm trying to think who are the Marios in um, New York City. I, I don't think there's any Mario mains, but I could definitely be mistaken. Oh, did not want that, unless that was uh, the DI from Hydra. I think he wasn't intending to do a uh, forwarder, though, Horby. Yeah, Mario at this high percentage, Horby's going to have a tough time. He's going to need to catch a straight well, forward smash. Well, exactly, but when you do a ledge up down air, you know, Mario's definitely floaty. He's not landing on ledge, he can't shield. So that was a good uh, pivot forward smash to challenge that. Oh, just missed that follow up. Yeah, um, the, the DI not quite enough for Hydra, it just restood him. And uh, Harvey was still able to, to keep it going. Up smash? I like this. Yeah, I got this. Uh, yeah. So turnaround grab might have been a better option for Horby. Yeah, I see that, so you avoid the push off. Yeah. I'd agree. Nice. I think we've already seen the tornado, so that's just gonna be it. Yeah. Those fireballs were good, but again, if you get underneath, you're able to perfectly challenge in the end lag of the second fireball. Yeah, now, Horby has been controlling this game to a much greater extent than he did the first game. Yes. It would seem that he has definitely carried the, uh, the momentum. Wow. I was expecting a disengage back air and trying to trade or something like that. Uh, apparently, Hydra was too. <laughs> I'd say so. All right, this is going to be an important one from Hydra, but he tried to keep going high. It was a good DI to uh, avoid the platform. Wow, that, that back air cuts right through the fireball. And it just keeps going. Yeah, and that's really what uh, helps Kirby in this matchup. Those long limbs. Ooh, nice. And the drift back from Hydra is what allowed him to avoid Horby's attack and set up for that up smash. Oh, it's really the uh, micro-spacing that really gets you in those big moments, the do or die. Yeah, Hydra going low there. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of surprised to see that he was trying to come from underneath against Kirby. Yeah, me too. Kirby definitely reacted to that low. Great DI. And this is uh, super tough. Yeah, Hydra. Hydra has a real mountain to climb. Against a player of this caliber who's shown such a great ability to control the, the pace of the match. Wow, down, these down airs. One stock to three. He's gonna need to be extremely cautious. Yeah, really. Oh, nice down tilt. Oh, that should be. Yeah, yeah that's it. Oh! Yeah, I, I think he missed the, the hop to ledge. Yeah, I think so. He got in shield, but he couldn't uh, get that short hop up. Oh, yeah. And again, going low. And Horby with the 2-0. This game's <laughs> Oh man, Horby's so